Here I'll show you how to add pages in InDesign. It's pretty simple, but not completely intuitive, so I'll teach you the tricks. First, look at your Pages panel. Go to the Flyout menu and make sure that these two shuffling options are clicked. These will allow your pages to remain in pairs no matter how many pages you add or take away or move. Next, go to your Preferences. On a Mac, that's in the InDesign menu. On a PC, it's in the Edit menu. Go to Type. Now, look down here about Smart Text Reflow. Smart Text Reflow means that if you were to add five pages of material in the middle of your book, InDesign will add five pages at the end so that you don't run out of space. It's kind of optional whether you use this or not, and sometimes toggling this off and on will help you with some kind of situation that you get into. All right, now we'll add a page. Here we are on page 63, and I'll select that in the Pages panel. Go to the Flyout menu, Insert Pages. And I will add one page after page 63. The other options are to add before the page or the start or the end. Click OK. And there's my new page. Now if I want the text to flow onto that page, that's pretty easy to do. Just get the selection tool, click on the page before, hit the little arrow at the bottom right of the page, move the cursor to the upper left corner of the blank page, and the text flows right on there. So you can see it's not very hard to insert pages in InDesign. And I hope you can see that you can do it yourself.